Are you ready for some delicious harp music? Hello everyone! So today we're going to be talking about a recipe on how to speed up your harp learning. But before we get to that exact recipe, I'm going to take you through a little story from my life of how I got to that recipe in the first place. And it's to do with me learning to play the piano as a child. So I started piano lessons when I was seven years old and right away I absolutely loved it. I mean, I loved the music, but a big part of it was that I really loved the feedback I got when I played a beautiful piece and how everyone would tell me it was so amazing. <laughs> so my piano teachers were always really encouraging and that was a big part of how I progressed. But then as I got more advanced, when I went to high school, I went to a new teacher who was known to be really, really brilliant, but also quite hectic, quite strict with students. So I made sure that I really practiced very hard and then I would go to my lesson with her and she would be very critical of my playing. I mean, to the extent that I would play just two measures and she would stop me. She would break down everything I'd done, critique it, be so perfectionist, and she would make me play it over and over and over again, just those two measures. And I had practiced the whole piece, but we couldn't even get beyond the two measures. And it was actually devastating to me because I was so used to having teachers tell me how amazing I was. I did have some thoughts about stopping lessons with this teacher, but I'm so glad I didn't because she ended up up being the best piano teacher I've ever had and possibly the best music teacher I've ever had and her attention to detail and being so slow and thorough with the piece taught me things about practicing that I've applied to my music throughout the rest of my playing. So what tends to happen with music lessons is the teacher will take you through the piece and then they'll tell you to go away and practice it but most of us don't actually know how to practice really effectively. So I've learned a lot along the way some of it from that teacher and also from my musical journey after that and I kind of learned it with some tears like in that lesson I used to cry <laughs> so I want to help you to learn these things without going through the pain of years and years like I did so I've put it together into a recipe for success that I want to tell you about right now okay here's the recipe step number one check your posture and positioning as you're learning the new piece Step number two be intentional about breaking your piece down into very small sections Step number three, practice placing and apply this thoroughly into every small section. Step number four, practice your small sections with hands separately, but not for too long. You've got to put them together pretty soon. Step number five, take those small sections, practice them slowly and repeat them over and over and over. This is also known as chunking. Step number six, practice joining together your small sections. And finally, as you're learning your new piece, make sure that you are strict on the details, but kind to yourself. We've got to make sure that we stay positive and have healthy and helpful thought patterns throughout the process. So now you know the recipe for success, but you might be thinking it's one thing to know what to do, but how do I actually apply this in my practicing? And that's why I've created my video lessons, which you might have heard about before. And in those video lessons, I'm guiding you through your practice. It's kind of like having me in your home along with you. And I'm taking you step by step through the piece, but also applying this recipe as you go. When I first started creating video lessons, I hoped it would be helpful, but then I started getting feedback from people who had used them and I was blown away. Here's some examples. Straight said the video lessons were so helpful, it's crystal clear and that if you follow it, your playing will come out fluidly. I quite like how she says she used to play like a car conking out. <laughs> Kane said he used to be really slow with reading and rhythm, but with the videos, he didn't even need to think. He said it's like jet speed training. That's pretty cool. And Daphne said she's made more progress in the last six weeks with my video lesson than in the previous six months. Whoa, that's incredible. I never knew it would do that for you but I'm so happy. <laughs> so since people have achieved such success with these video lessons they've kind of been bugging me saying Chrissy Lynn you have to create more. This is what I need. I need you to release them all the time and so I finally listened and I've decided to release a new video lesson every month this year. Yay! So this is to announce the first one is now ready. So you could get the video lesson right now for Loch Lomond for Beginner Harp. You can click up here to hear an example of me playing it. But also the good news is that to celebrate the release of this new video lesson, I've got a special offer on all my video lessons. So if you're watching this YouTube video as I'm releasing it, you've got four days for that special offer. So you better take advantage of it right now. But I also want to make it as easy as possible for you to access your new video lessons every month as they come out. So I'm making it available at a 
even more special offer <laughs> on my Patreon where you can subscribe and get your new video lesson automatically every month. So if you're ready to go ahead with your video lessons, click here to find out more information and start learning right now. I can't wait to help you with your practice.